you've probably been in a company that changes direction often. They've got one plan this month and another plan the next month. Uh, sometimes my I mean, employees and the clients that I have come to me and, and complain about that. And I've been frustrated when I was in a company that had one direction that it went and uh, then began working on the plans to implement that, to move in that direction. And then you know, it was really two months later, they came back and changed it all and and when the company changed direction like that, all my work was for nothing. This can be confusing for the entire organization. It takes time to get everyone on the same page with a plan. During any change, lots of, lots of momentum is lost. And when these changes come too often, leaders and the rest of the company can lose confidence in the people who are at the top of the organization. It is easy for chaos to emerge. What I suggest people do to avoid this is, number one, identify the long-term goal. Where do we want this company to be? Not two years or five years, but maybe 10 years from now. What is it that we're trying to accomplish? And once you have that, then create a picture of what the organization will look like in three short years on the way to achieving that long-term target. Then identify what needs to happen this year, in the next 12 months, to move toward that three-year picture. Don't get distracted by shiny objects and only do those things that will get you to your long-term target. When you do this, you'll create clarity and consistency in the company. People will regain their trust in the leadership and the direction of the company and productivity will go up. In the comments below, let me know how you introduce new plans to your company. How long do you wait before you change plans? Make it a great day.